welcome back. We today we are helping O Sister X who needs financial freedom because of she now has more responsibilities than before. N not neglecting that now she's taking care of her sister's kids and another sister child. So she's taking out at about five children by herself and she's only earning 15,000. So she needs help. She needs to know how she can manage her money better. And Uzandi, she's here. She's helping with Sister X here. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so I want to teach her one rule that I personally live by. It's called pay yourself first. Okay. So this rule goes like this. It says whatever income that comes to your bank account, 10% belongs to you. Okay. So if you are earning 10,000, 1,000 belongs to you. The reason why we are saying it's paying yourself first, it's because this person is earning 15,000. Maybe she spends uh, 4,000 on groceries. Mm. And where is that money going to? It's going to the, the, the supermarket. Yeah, it's true. Then maybe she pays for transport. Money is going to Malu. Then she buys uh, the kids some winter clothes and summer clothes. The money goes to the... The, the retail shops. The retail shops, yeah. yes. So it means that this person wakes up every day, but there's no money coming to her. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we say, ah, I'm going out. Uh, but actually... If you go to the restaurant, who's getting richer? You are taking your money, okay. you are giving it to the to person the who owns owner. the restaurant. Okay. So there's actually no money that is personally coming to, to you. Okay. So this rule says whatever money that you get, 10% belongs to you. Mm. So Sister X needs to take about 1.5, 1.5 of that money and save it. Okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, how many responsibilities she has, it's okay to prioritize yourself. Hmm. Isn't that my tithe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the yeah. tithe, it's though. the tithe. I know with me, because I pay my tithes, I'm okay. a faithful a tither. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So now I take 10%, it goes tithe. to the church. Okay. Then 10%, it goes to, to my yourself. savings. Okay. Then I have 80% to do everything oh, that I, I need to do. Okay. Do you All understand? Right. I get you. I so get you. this rule says, Pay yourself first. And this money, you need to save it. it. As it accumulates, you are able to fund your dreams. You did, when you were reading my bio, you said, uh, I'm with uh, Mill, Park Mill Park Business Park School. School yeah. The same money I used, you it's use those 10%. It for... okay. The same money I used to, to, to fund my life, to start livestock. actually my livestock farm. It was from these 10%. Okay. So, so you invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. To pursue the things that you want. Thank you. you because got you complain it right. about capital. Mm -hmm. I don't have money to start up a business. But money keeps coming every time. Money but... keeps coming every time. Okay. And you know, if you are not saving, you, you, you will be working for 20 years and you have nothing to show for it. That's so true. Hey? You will have nothing. Th that's why I think that's why when a person is working this month, if they can say that there's no more job for you, it's a problem. If your salary cannot take you for another three, three to months, six months, four months to six. So it means how one fella then you are. You, you are, are out of, out the, of game. the game, sister. You are out. And so, that's the reality bra, of many. We, we've seen it during lockdown. Oh, we've seen it sister. during lockdown. Yeah. So the first thing that she must do, she must pay herself first. It doesn't matter whether the children's school fees, see, all these things. But that you know those emergency days, pay. though? Where you feel like, but I have money. You can see there's no bread in the Ish, house. That's the problem. <laughs> now you need to plan for those days. Plan, okay. plan ahead for those days. Yeah. So, um... If she does do that, it will help her to pursue her other dreams. Okay. Because most of us, maybe even the jobs that we are in, uh, we are not happy. Mm. Or we need. We are passionate about something else. It's and okay. What we're doing, yeah. It's okay. Mm. So while you are working, use your salary as a seed. That, that's what I always preach. Your salary is a seed. Mm. Your salary will be the one that will fund your other businesses. Don't be quick to resign from your job. Mm -hmm. Use that money that you are earning there to start I another see. business. Okay. So that is the first solution. Mm. Then she needs to sit down, to sit down and, and write her goals down. You see, in life orientation mm -hmm. at school, we were mm -hmm. taught that... Uh, uh, <laughs> you are the teacher, by I'm the way. I'm a teacher, yes. <laughs> so we were taught to... to 
uh, write our goals according to short term, mid term, long term. Okay. She needs to do that. Yeah. She must know what she wants. Mm. Because sometimes if you don't know what you are saving for, you'll end up going on vacation That's and so true. using up the money. Yeah, That's well. so true. Because I like that because most of the time you say you want to save, but you don't know what you're saving you for. You don't know what you're, you're just, saving for. You're just practicing a good management of finances by saving. So you are saying... Have something. Have a goal. Thank I'm you. I'm saving for. Save for I this. I love that. Remember, love she, that. she stated that she's building um, a house, a house yes. at home. Yes. She needs to save towards that house. Mm. You know, I think the mistake that us black people uh, make is that sometimes we want to build mansions at home and we want to go all in yeah. and we are left with zero, zero. Yes. Instead of going and finding someone who's going to draw the plan for you, then you start maybe with phase one, which is two room, then uh, two rooms, then phase two, you add a garage, phase three, you add this. Okay. By that, in that way, you will be able to do it without going to the bank the and borrowing for money. And all that. So yeah. she needs to plan, sit down and plan, Wuti, okay, uh, I'm giving myself two years to build this house. This is what I'm willing to do. Hmm. So that is the goal, goal setting of e e e finance. So it's short term, it's mid short term, term and long mid term. Mid term and long term. She's saying as well here about her sister's kids. How does she navigate with this? Because it's unfair, for lack of a better word, it's unfair that I need to take care of my sister's kids while my sister, she's alive. And she's not even coming into part. What does she need to do then for, I don't know, because then she will not progress the way she says she will progress. Or am I starting something that... <laughs> you know, I, this one is very tricky. That's why I'm saying she needs to prioritize herself. While she has all these other responsibilities, she mm. must be able to prioritize herself. This one is unfortunate. In mm. life, you get what you get. Like, there's, there's no... Uh, it, life is unfair. And life is unfair. So you get what you get. Mm. So you must navigate around it. You must see Find a if, way it how means, to if it means you must take your, your, your sister's kids to the nearest school so that they don't use transport. Okay. You do that. All right. Because it's a responsibility. It's upon you. you now you won't feel good if you are still alive and your sister's kids are now uh, mm. staying in orphanage homes yeah. or While I don't know, there. Where, where do they stay? Yeah, yeah. those places where mm. they stay. So for, for, your own, for your own sake, help them, but don't forget about yourself. yourself. Right. Because I think our parents... Uh, by Enzile, that mistake of putting us first. And neglecting. Then when, yes, they neglected themselves. Then when we eventually got married, now it's a problem. It's like, oh, so unglashy. Yeah. They, oh, uh, they, it's because they want that to bring it back. Which thank I've done you. so much for you. Why are you not bringing why it are back? You not, why are you not returning this thing? That's why I in King Azabo Mameza. And what, Let's what? talk more. Let's talk more after the break. How is your savings? How is your savings? Do you set any goals? Uh, short goals, uh, short-term goals, mid-term goals, and long-term goals with your finances. Oh, coach here, she's actually teaching us on how to do that. Stay tuned. See you after the break.